radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared up soldiers I mentioned who do the teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> Regarding some kind of chronon particle harvesting operation, I'm not sure what that means, but I'm looking into it. Keep you posted. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Hey, just turned off security. Uh oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power 
a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Clear exit down here. May have to head upward. There's got to be something I can use to get up there.
Oh. Not your average elevator. that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sofia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances Stay sharp, in the he's area here. of particles, HQ, hostile as chronon particles. On July 4, 2010, Unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small. Shit, I'm out! We now refer to as. Engaging! Located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This resulted in extremely dense emissions of chronon particles. Conditions for extraction, which led to the chronon harvesting operation you see today. All of Monarch's. Most notably, These particles. When the time is right, the entire supply of chronon containers will be transported from this location to the Monarch headquarters, where the PFR is located. Directly. Unique temporal anomalies become more frequent with closer proximity to the ground when entering the yellow zone. This yellow zone in its dense chronon pockets ripe for harvesting. The ground zero perimeter itself is never to be entered under any condition. We refer to this area as the red zone. Gotta find a way out of here. Gotta be something I can use to get up there. Oh. Not your average elevator. find out.
Okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Okay. Looks like the trailer has power now. Said Mac, filling in for Bobby Radford. Bobby's taking a little break for health reasons. I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him a speedy recovery. Just take all the time you need, Bobby. We've got your back. Now, not I got that I got briefcase that we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Amy, you okay out there? Shit. It's locked. There's gotta be another way to get through here. positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Got the word. 
Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. Striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter around Ground Zero. An entire striker team? For one guy? University incident got HQ wetting their pants. Kid's gonna get torn apart like a goddamn pinata.
for his men to move through stutters. He knew the fracture would occur, prepared for it. Oh shit. He never tried to stop it. you what he did in that workshop at ground zero no never he hid that part of his life from me nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there and even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later What is this? What the hell? What, hell? what, is, what this? is this? That already happened. There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, don't do this. Don't. 
I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. 